Welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Jim, who uh, we've met before. He was in a um, uh, this actually very nice Kia Sedona minivan, and uh, we've seen his van as as a video, and he's updated it. And so I thought we would check in and uh, and see the updates. I know for a lot of you, I recommend uh, minivans as one of the very best possible options. I mean, their size. Uh, they're stealth. They just have an awful lot going for them. And so I think that a lot of you should consider a minivan if you can be a minimalist enough. So Jim, uh, tell us about your Kia Sedona. The 2008 uh, Kia Sedona. And um, it's a basic minivan. It's not the high end. It's just a, a regular minivan. You know, I had it. It had low mileage. And uh, I thought... Uh, maybe I could get my feet wet in traveling and uh, that's what we've done. So you're still working and living at home and you're not full-timing. This is just trips for you. Well I'm just like a college student. Yes I'm living at home and uh, I do work a little bit uh, and I do trips uh, specifically out from Michigan out to the west. And, and one of the things you designed the minivan for is to be able to return home and return it to its normal service. Well, that was the original thought, but to be honest with you, the only time I'll bring more than one person is very, not very often actually. So I basically leave it set up at this particular point. Okay, so why don't we uh, go ahead and uh, take a tour of your little home. The first thing that stands out to me is the awning. That's new, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, there's probably, you know, seven or eight things uh, that I've added since the last time. And I think that's what most people will find, at least from what I see, is they get a particular vehicle and they continue to refine it uh, so it suits their needs. Right. And, and uh, one of the things I tell people is that people ask me, well, I can't move in. I can't move into a vehicle because I can't do the build. I say, well, you don't have to do a big, elaborate build, and you haven't, and you've made this very comfortable with very little building. As far as building goes, uh, the only thing I've done different for, is the I've changed from a cot to a more permanent bed. I can actually uh, unbolt it and take it out, but I I did uh, build that. So you found that at, that your needs evolved. You took trips, uh, you came back, and you refined how you had everything, and you changed it, and you upgraded it, and this didn't work. Oh, this worked great, but maybe it'd work a little better if I did this, and so on. Correct. The little things are things I think anybody can do, but the basics, if you look and compare this video to the last video, there are just a few add-ons. And so you probably get pretty good gas mileage with the Kia? Uh, yeah, I did try to keep a little better track this time, but I know it's north of 20. Now, does that mean 24 or 22? I can't tell you exactly. So I, here's a, another thing you've added is a, uh, is a roof rack. And so what was your thinking on the roof rack? Well, there's only so much... Um, so many things inside you can do. There's only so much room, 100 feet or 60 feet or whatever it is, square feet. And uh, I felt that if anything above that, if I wanted to carry a tent or if I wanted to um, carry additional waters and things like that, I can, uh, I can put that. But one of the main things was, is I've been coming out to Colorado for the last uh, two, two plus two and a half years, and my son plays hockey out here. So if anybody understands how hockey equipment can be, it's a lot easier to have it outside than it is sitting right next to you. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and take a look inside and see what you've done in there. Okay, so the first change that you've made that's really substantial is the bed. Tell, tell me about how you build it. Well, basically it's uh, done with two by twos and um, one by twos for the top part. Um, as you can see on the side, there's legs, which gives me a couple of different options. Um, one will be where I can lift up on the bed and storage underneath, like I think you've seen uh, in many other videos. 
but also the bed can be uh, slid across so it becomes a full-size bed. Okay, so folks, now we've moved around to the back and we'll see Jim's kitchen, but uh, we wanted to point out that he, he's now carrying a bike. Well, you were carrying a bike last time, too. That's correct. The last one strapped on the, uh, the outside of the, the van, but it was a problem because when the bikes are on it, you can't lift the, the deck lid. You have to take the bikes off. So if you wanted to stop at a rest stop or stop somewhere quickly and get a quick meal, uh, you'd have to break everything down and it, it was kind of a hassle. So I investigated a little bit and what I found was is a bike rack that actually uh, slides out and you can carry as many as four bikes. Uh, now I usually I travel with two. So I did have to put a hitch on all right, so I, that was another upgrade. A standard receiver hitch. A standard, uh, I think it's a uh, two inch, the, the full size. And basically it slides out and allows me to move the bikes all the way to the outside and gives me full access to the kitchen. So you're using it to maybe save a little money, but mainly for the exercise. You've had some health problems. Yes. That was one of the issues that motivated you to be out here to begin with. That's correct. And, uh, you know, things have been good. So, you know, let's knock on wood that they continue. And uh, exercise is a, a, a very important piece. You know, medicine, exercise, and uh, eating right. So that's where the kitchen comes in. So let's take a look at your kitchen. Okay. The kitchen itself is very similar to where it was before, but like I mentioned from the inside where I put the bed in and I took the stow and go seats out, what it allowed me to do was it allowed me to gain height. Yeah, I can see it's much taller. So what it, what it, how it worked is that it allowed me to drop the uh, refrigerator down six or eight inches, maybe more. It allowed me to drop the shower water down and the propane down, which gave me two additional spaces for storage and two additional spaces here for storage, which, you know, I keep kitchen utensils in here, you know, foods and pots and pans. And then I have two additional for, you know, regular food. And, and then the cutting board still works like a champ. So we should say that this is just a standard uh, shelving unit you can buy probably at Home Depot, anywhere. I think I paid, you know, between 15 and $20 for each. They're uh, 14 wide, like I mentioned, and they're 24 long. So you, I have them strapped together. They're leveled out at the bottom. They're in there very secure. Um, and so they're 14 by 24, two of them. So it gives me 48 inches by 14 and I still have a little bit of additional space on the sides. And the shelvings, not all the shelves are adjustable, but enough are that you can, you've really adapted it to your perfect use. Right, I mean, you can adjust them any way you want. Uh, you know, obviously there's, there's lines and, you know, you want them level, but like on, if you notice this one is up higher because I, I wanted full access to the fridge. I mean, I just slide them out. Easy access. Yeah. And again, organization. That's just that's just so critical. There you go. You can't just you know a lot of people start out just piling stuff in, and oh my goodness, that becomes a horror show. It, it's it's very difficult because you know you're you, you're constantly picking up and moving things from one side to the other. What's underneath mm. here, and but that comes with time. That comes with uh, experience. It does. Yeah. That you, comes you learn with all that. you know each time I travel. I usually pick up one or two little things that I wish I would have done differently. Every time you see a video, that's what I think the purpose of these videos are. Really it is. Is to, you know, something that you see, and if you go five videos and all of a sudden, oh, I, I might be able to adapt that, or you know what, I'd like to ride a bike. And you know what, rather than strapping one on, again, it does cost money, uh, but it's gonna last as long as I'll ever need it. And then at that point, you know, I can leave it to my family. And again, because you've had health issues, cooking and exercise are critical, and you've got them easily here. Yes. You, you can cook as healthy a meal as you want right here. Yes, I do broil a lot more. I cook the fish, I cook the chicken. Uh, I try to eat less, 
out of a can. And if it's canned, it's low sodium, you know, things like that. And, you know, simple, little tiny steps along the way, whether it's in a van or uh, in a car to a van to an RV, uh, or same thing when you're eating, you know, little tiny baby steps. If you can cut out some sodium here, if you can cut out some of these things, that doesn't mean you can't have the things you want. So that's my philosophy. But. So you have uh, you have a uh, the Dometic CF18 compressor fridge. Yes. Over down, you've stored it down underneath, and uh, it takes power. So how are you providing power, 12 volt power for your fridge? Well, the fridge itself, I have run off the car battery, but the car battery is a uh, multi-use battery. So it gives me 75 amp hours. It is an AGM but it also starts the car. So it is your starting battery? Only the fridge runs off the starting battery and the car itself. But again, doing a lot more traveling, that battery stays charged. Do I start it when, you know, and I'll mention uh, later, is I did put a remote starter in. And uh, sometimes I use the buddy heater, but a lot of times I just need to take the chill off. So I might start the car to use the uh, furnace or to use the uh, heat and at the same time it's charging these uh, both batteries because I have a house battery also. Okay so one of the questions everyone always asks is how do you shower? So um, Jim how do you shower? Well I start with taking my shirt off, no. <laughs> Basically uh, what I have what I mentioned before is a big kahuna. It's the smallest one. It's a four. That's the brand name. That's the name of the the brand and what they're originally made for is they were made for um, people who yacht and things like that down in Florida have salt water on their equipment and what they do is they buy these in order to have you know regular water to wash off some of that salt water. Well it seemed perfect for me um, because I didn't have to buy a separate pump, I didn't have to buy a hand pump, I didn't, and I wanted some sort of running water to not only, sh you know, clean up and you know, wash your hair and, sh you know, shower basically, but also for any kind of cooking and washing dishes and things like that. Um, I could use a sprayer, which is fine. I could use a pump sprayer, but again, it's 12 volt. I have it hooked to the, uh, the one of the 12 volt plugs in the front via wire. Basically I have a switch. There we go. We just put a nice head of hair in there and uh, or some dishes and we're we're all set. And it's uh, four gallons you said? That one's four. Uh, but they do make an eight and a 13 I believe. What I did is I cut a couple of these out so I can put the hose right down in here and fill it up. Well, Jim, thanks so much for uh, for sharing your minivan with us. I really, really appreciate it. It uh, got a lot of great comments last time, and I think it really helps people. People can see how they can turn a minivan into an amazingly comfortable home. You have, vert, you know, all the you have a bathroom, you have a bedroom, you have a, a recreation room. You you've got it all. You've got your apartment on wheels. And then I have the outside. Yeah, this amazing, amazing. Uh, let me just uh, show people where we're at now. So this is your backyard. Sure, you have a tiny little home, but my goodness, you have quite a backyard. So thanks so much, Jim. I really appreciate it, and uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. And we'll probably you'll probably have made a new model, and it'll be even better. There you Hard go. Hard to imagine it gets any better than this, but I bet it will. Maybe I'll buy a new bike. Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll, <laughs> little upgrades here and there and life gets even sweeter, even when you think it can't. So everyone home, thanks so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and uh, no matter what, follow your dreams. I mean, if all you can do is take uh, your, your car, your minivan, go take trips, I think you'll find that it's been worth it. So we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.